Hi, I'm going to show off my uh, final GUI project for BioE49. So first, um, I'll just show off a simple disease uh, that's non-fatal um, in a vaccinated versus an unvaccinated population. And you can obviously see the effect that a vaccine has, um, even at a rate of just 0.4, uh, on the spread of the disease. All right, so next, um, let's introduce a disease that actually um, kills people that it infects. Uh, we'll run it for a little bit longer to really demonstrate the effect of that. And you'll see that the disease actually burned itself out in this population. Um, and so it's interesting if you animate the epidemic over time with the same conditions, uh, you can watch as it establishes an infection, infects the entire population, and then burns itself out. While this is running, I'll just explain the math behind uh, the model that I'm using. Um, I've used the traditional SIS model in uh, epidemiology, and I've expanded it to include terms for um, uh, vaccinated and dead uh, members of the population. So the full documentation um, I'll attach along with this video, but that's really the basics of it. It ends up being a nonlinear partial differential equation. Um, and I just solved it in MATLAB and then plotted the results. And you can see the stark contrast between a vaccinated and an unvaccinated population. In the vaccinated population, the disease hasn't really spread very far at all. Um, while in the unvaccinated population, it's pretty much infected everybody. Um, and we'll see if it manages to get to that corner up here, but the outlook is grim. Okay, and finally I'll just showcase some of the other uh, abilities of my program. Uh, first, um, instead of plotting the number of infected members of the population over time, we'll just plot the number of dead individuals. Uh, this is particularly useful if we're going to be looking at a disease like this one, um, where if we were just to look at the number of infected, you might just see a blue graph that doesn't contain much information. 
So this, uh, and, and you'll see it, uh, might be more useful in certain contexts. Yeah, so instead of showing the number of infected individuals, this actually shows the number of, the, of dead. So this is at t equals 8, so this is at the far right end of this graph here. Um, and you can really see the, the stark difference between these two. And finally, um, we'll do a plot in 3D, which isn't particularly useful, but it looks pretty neat. And we'll just mess with some of these initial conditions to really show that this program's capable of doing whatever you like. Alright, thanks for watching.